and welcome to the second video of the Ozeki Camera SDK tutorial video series on computer vision. The topic of this video is frame capture from camera. In this video you will see a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create captured frames from a USB camera. Before I start, let me tell you what is frame capture good for. There are lots of ways to use the frame capture function effectively. Frame capture is the ideal option for those who wish to examine the security of any territory where a camera is placed, like your home, an office, or a parking area. Now let's start our tutorial video. This is going to be fun. I hope you will enjoy it. First of all, let me introduce you our Ozaki camera SDK a bit. This camera SDK is an OnWiv compliant all-purpose tool, which is really easy to use. To the implementation of any computer vision feature, you will need the following. A Microsoft PC, Visual Studio, .NET framework, and some kind of camera, and the Ozaki camera SDK software. First, we need to download the Ozeki Camera SDK from the www.camera-sdk.com website. On the home page, you click on the download menu. Then you click on the link and fill in the form with your name and email address. Once the download is ready, we install the software. The installation is pretty simple. You just need to click on the next button, then install. The installation will take a couple of minutes though. When the installation is done, you click on the finish button and here we can see the Ozaki Camera SDK software product running on our computer. Now you need to open the Visual Studio. After opening the Visual Studio project, you have to add the VoIP SDK.dll to the references. You can do it in the Solution Explorer. Mm, click on the References, right-click and Add References. Here you can uh, select uh, the VoIP SDK.dll.
if you check the frame capture from video stream in C sharp page on the web page, we can see on which path we can access the example program we are going to use now. Now let's open our example program in the OSEC folder. We open the solution in Visual Studio. In the Visual Studio, we can see our code and the GUI of our application. Now let the fun begin. First, let's see the GUI of our application. This is how the graphical user interface looks like. It has two parts, the live and the frame capture part. Let's go on with the buttons. As you can see, there are different buttons on our GUI. Let's start with the connect to web camera button. If I double click on the button, we can see the part of our code that connects the program to the camera. When I go back to the GUI and click on the Start button, we can see the part which starts the capture. Here we can also provide interval in which our camera forwards the picture from the stream to the frame capture part of the GUI. If we click on the stop button, we can see the methods that make the capture stop. Finally, when I double click on the disconnect from web camera button, we can see the part of the code which is responsible for the disconnecting of the USB camera from our application.
Now I am going to connect the USB camera to my computer and show you how uh, our application operates. And I'm going to start our application. I click on the connect to web camera button and now we can see the image of our USB camera. Then I'm going to provide that within how many seconds should our camera capture the image. This is going to be 3 seconds now. Then I click on the start button. Then we can see that in every 3 seconds a new capture is shown. Finally, I click on the stop button and disconnect the camera from the application. See, this is pretty easy. I bet you can do it as well. Sadly, we are close uh, to the end of this video. As you can see, this camera SDK is so easy to use, plus it is an Envif compliance software. Moreover, it is an all-purpose tool. If this video caught your attention and you want to learn more about other great uh, solutions provided by the Osaka Camera SDK software product, then download the trial version from our website and follow our tutorial videos. You can download the latest version of the software at uh, the www camera-sdk.com. Also, you can find useful information there. In case of any questions or inquiries, you should send us an email to the info at camera-sdk.com email address. In the next video, you will see a step-by-step -step tutorial on motion recognition. Thank you for your attention. See you at the next video.